Welcome to Club Doom, where the White Bowser's back, or at least was back, and he is unpleasant as ever. If you don't know who the White Bowser is, I made a whole video about him last year, so I recommend you watch that. To give you all the TLDR, the White Bowser be a fat, annoying, impulsive, weeaboo incel. That's that the best way to put it. And a predator. Can't forget that. Who got a natural talent for getting kicked out of every single community he a part of. The MLP community, he been kicked out of it. The AMV community, he been kicked out of it. In fact, he's so good at it, he got kicked out of our little quote-unquote lol cow community twice now. Recently, Bull had gone full cyber crip in everyone's emails, particularly Smokey. Again, this all started because Bowser got kicked out of Smokey MCC server for being a chronic pain in nuisance. So naturally, he blamed all the public backlash against him for the past year on Smokey. Even though all Smokey did was basically just point over in Earl's direction and say, hey yo, get a load of this guy. White Bowser liked to frame it as though Smokey MCC initiated a harassment campaign towards him. But if you watch any of Smokey's videos on the guy, you'll know he said not to touch the poop dozens of times. Cause that be lol cow observation 101. Keep your hands in the Jeep type beat. So why was Earl spamming everyone's emails then? Well, you see that cause the White Bowser, he had a master plan. A master plan to finally get back at the trolls. Check it. So, remember that girl he groped while working at the movie theater? Well, according to him, that girl wasn't 17, she was in fact 18! And somehow he thought this minor discrepancy would be enough to win the public over, and call for Smokey and Kiwi tapes to be tar and feathered in the streets for the dastardly crimes of, I don't know, documenting all the stupid crap Bowser be caught doing in 4K. But let's say we live in La La Land Quickville C197, and this would actually work. What's his proof? Well, it's these calls. If you don't know, Earl banned from every single Imagine Macomb theater in the state of Michigan until the year 2025. So Bull figured he would just call locations outside of his state to confirm how old you gotta be to work at Imagine Macomb. And if by chance any of the managers say the age be 18 as opposed to 16, he's in the clear. Because then the girl in question would have been 18 when the incident happened. Earl set his plan into motion and made a new YouTube channel called Whatever Broski, where he would upload said calls. Imagine you need the link. This is Joseph speaking. How may I help you? Hi, my name is David. I'm sorry to disturb you at this time, but do you have a manager on duty right now I can talk to? I'm a manager. What can I do for you? Okay, so I'm searching for a job for one of my cousins, one of my uh, younger cousins. If you don't have any jobs available at your, I'm trying to help him out. If you have any jobs available, like at your theater at the time, you can, you know, like give me a different theater location that might have jobs available. But uh, um, how, what is the minimum age you have to be to work at an Imagine Movie Theater location? I want to say 16, but let me double check real quick. Yeah, my, my if, 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 the, if the minimum age to work at Imagine Movie Theater is 16, then um, I don't think he'll be able, I mean, I'm sorry, he's, he's my younger cousin, I'm sorry, he's not my son, jeez, I don't have yeah, a son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but anyway, my, I'm getting tongue-tied. You never said son. You never said anything about a son. No one even uttered the word son till you started apologizing for calling him your son. The manager already suspicious you can't keep your story straight. You was only a minute in to your master plan that was totally gonna work. Not really, guys, no cap. And you already beefed it. Mind you, this is smoking gun too. He uploaded this John to his own new YouTube account called Whatever Broski. Which is gone now, by the way. We finna get into that later. What the manager's answer anyway. Um, but if he... Uh, he he's 14, so he might have to work at a diff... He might have to work at a grocery store first then. Gotcha. Uh, do you know some of the shops in town are also, like, in, like, Geneva, for instance, also higher on the little bit younger side? I do believe our, uh, age is 16, unfortunately. This is how all the calls went, by the way. But one of them said you had to be 18 to serve alcohol, so there you go, Earl wins. Flawless victory. It was after this declaration of victory he decided to hit up Smokey. Hey, man, I've been sure to save your email for a while when I would finally be ready to strike back. I've got two screenshots for you. Apparently more than just myself has been lying. In fact, I might have been telling the truth about a few things for a long time. 
Blessed as should. You fool! I have 70 alternative accounts! <laughs> The two screenshots in question, by the way, is in reference to a fan server that got rebranded. It wasn't even a smoky fan server, it was a different fan server. A lot of you think I'm still hiding. You couldn't be more wrong. You just said you was lurking in like five different alt accounts. That's hiding, Bowser. That's hiding. That's the definition of hiding. Unless you out you in the open saying, hello, I am white Bowser, then you hiding. That's, that's how hiding work, but okay, whatever. And I got a lot of insider knowledge on your operation. My eyes are on the Kiwi Farms constantly. You know when I said that you were going to win the battle, you were not going to win the war. The truth has been revealed. I never groped a minor all of you wide to everyone. That little house of cards you built, it's all gonna come crashing down. You really underestimated your opponent. You forgot. I know how to play chess. What is with all these weirdos in chess? It was the same thing with Janky. I'm sorry, I don't play chess because I'm like not above the age of 40. But Bowser, given how little you tend to think things through, I highly doubt you even know the name of a single gambit. So shut up. Dude, you are so addicted to your fucking weed. Your intelligence is that of a fucking monkey eating its own sh Calling someone a file for watching gnarly anime is like calling someone a criminal for playing Grand Theft Auto, delusional idiot. Keep going, Smokey. I can keep on screenshotting too. You all lied to everyone over the past two years. Bowser, we don't only call you that because you watch quote unquote gnarly anime. If it was as simple as you said you had a crush on like, I don't know, Mai from King of Fighters, 23 year old ninja lady with big boobs, I don't think anyone would care. You might get one or two people calling you cringe and saying, hey yo, go outside and find a real woman, dork. The reason we call you a PDF is because the anime in question always involved teenagers in explicit situations. Add on top of that, you groped someone at your job who was underage, regardless of your proof that you got in the biggest quotations on the planet. Add on top of that, you had a grooming server under the guise of a One Piece AMV Discord. Y'all get in the picture, right? It more than just one unfortunate Freudian slip. It been a consistent pattern of behavior. Smokey even says it in this one email he sent to Earth. Girl, to which he responded with, want me to weak your email address? You're still lying. And the more you lie, the more this is going to end badly for you. You are required to be 16 years of age to work at any imagined theater location. The story was she was 17, Earl. That's a, that's a year older than 16. And it's still a minor. So you wrong. Smokey responded with, Oh no, please don't leak my publicly available email address. <laughs> Shortly after Smokey posted these screenshots to Twitter, it was discovered that Earl was lurking in another anime music video server. And as soon as people realized it was him, he dipped. So this be a public service announcement to anyone running an anime music video server. Be on the lookout for one white Bowser. Because if by some chance you let him on there for a long enough period, or God forbid give him mod status he will groom he will groom he has done it before so be on the lookout keep your eyes peeled like i get it all you want to do is make goku versus jiren edits to denzel curry or something it shouldn't have to be this complicated but that the reality of the situation lol cows like earl doobie exist and there's a walking liability get used to it and if you come across a situation similar to laugh tale please before you go to any youtuber about it Please contact Child Protective Services. Getting that child out of harm's way 10 times more important than any stupid YouTube video. After Smokey had posted a video about his email correspondence, someone posted on the White Bowser subreddit. Yes, there do be a White Bowser subreddit. They claimed they went to high school with Earl and even provided a yearbook photo to back up that claim. In the post, they say, This whole saga is literally the funniest thing to me. I went to school with Earl and I cannot believe that my personal lol cow from back in the day has become such an inner internet sensation in the places I lurk now. I heard him speak in one video and I immediately knew who was on the call. He's 
actually harassed me non-stop when I knew him, and I am just disgusted to know that he never stopped. Pushing him to tears was my favorite thing to do back then, and I am so glad that it is still happening to him. It honestly couldn't have happened to a better bozo. Loki, I kinda know the feel. I've seen one of my old personal lol cows from high school lurking around these parts every now and then. I ain't finna snitch, cause as far as I know, they ain't done anything too out of pocket since then. But I just want you to know, I know you're here in your walls. Hey yo, remember when I said Earl's ban from Imagine Macomb gets lifted in 2025? It possible that might be extended indefinitely, cause Smokey later emailed Earl with, Oh, and Earl, I know that you're permanently banned from Imagine Macomb. I'm aware of the cease and desist. You are such a liar. And Earl denies it, before immediately admitting to it. Cause Bull's head just run on autopilot. Anyway, he responds, You are aware that if a cease and desist was in effect, I would be in court, White. There would be wet goods online somewhere of me going to court over the cease and desist, which there are not. A cease and desist is a legal document. Do you have a copy of this legal document anywhere? If you don't, you can't prove it. What did you talk to your buddy, insert unfunny troll Sona name here, over this? I knew that guy was a buddy twall. Kind of surprised he never screenshotted anything and that never spread around for like two weeks. But essentially, after I made my phone calls to Imagine Theaters to make a case that you lied about me groping a 17 year old girl, that was when a cease and desist was filed against me. <laughs> Which is why I had to remove my first YouTube channel 72 hours after creating it. After removing my YouTube channel, the cease and desist was nullified by the prosecutor. If the cease and desist was not I don't know why. There would be corrects. <laughs> what a f***ing idiot! You were so close, Earl. You were so close to successfully telling a lie for once. All you had to do was not bring up the fact that you received a cease and desist in the mail. Stop the cap. <laughs> You seem pretty adamant that the cease and desist does exist and is real. You have to get a hold of the real wiggle document to prove it, Smokey. Unless someone just like admitted to receiving one in the mail, but like who would do that? Who would possibly be stupid enough to do that? Not a screenshot from a buddy twole. Also, you sound like you're getting angry. Is something the matter? I'm angry AF, Earl. You harassed them even after you did the bomb threat. Even if you were allowed back in Imagine, which you aren't because you are permabanned, you shouldn't because those people don't deserve to have to deal with the same PDF who groped a minor at that location. Not to mention the fact that every single woman there felt creeped out about you. Also not to mention the f***ing bomb threat. You are a danger. You know who is also a danger? Your community. Your community is still booking fake events under my name at Imagine Macomb still to this very day. That's forgery, Smokey. Maybe not from you, but from your fan base. It is a federal crime. Let's not forget it was that YouTube comment I saw that made me think my friends were in danger from your community in the first place. Who's the real danger then? Um, still you, Earl, cause... No, nobody said anything about a bomb until you did. The comment in question was a reference to Homestar Rudder. Nothing was ever mentioned about a bomb. Like, ever. Earl just, like, made it up in his head. And if people be booking fake events under his name, yeah, that's not cool, but that ain't Smokey's responsibility. Hell, that could be any one of the thousands of people you've pissed off on the internet over the course of five years. Let's not forget the article that recently surfaced about how Earl was involved in the leaking of someone's nudes on a Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook group. Yes, that's a real thing that happened. He don't even deny it. He just resort to his usual tactic of blaming everyone else around him. Especially the victim. Like, hmm, where have I seen that before? In other words, Bowser got a lot of enemies. Rightfully so. Oh, here's where Bull just resort to insulting Smokey and wishing death upon him because he know he ain't got a leg to stand on anymore. You sound so insecure and you sound like you're crying like a little baby ass quack boy. What does the baby need? A cigarette? Does a baby need some alcohol? Does the baby need more drugs because your wife is unstable? 
You keep on whining about how I globed the miner when I already proved that was false two weeks ago with my video evidence. Sounds like the baby needs another hit of marijuana because the baby can't do proper arithmetic. Deadass eight minutes later. Hey baby boy, you're not answering me. Is something wrong? Did you know the only reason why the police have not gone after you is because they have no proof you ordered to book those fake events under my name at Imagine Macomb? Well, yeah, we, like I just said, it could be one of the thousands of people you've pissed off. So, of course, they ain't got any proof that Smokey did it, because he probably didn't. It is a federal crime when that gets done, Smokey Baby Boy. It is forgery. Hey, Baby Boy. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you run out of alcohol and you have to go to the store to buy more? You know what? That don't sound like a bad idea, actually. You know what, Earl? That don't sound like a bad idea. Drinking copious amounts of beer sound like a way better use of my time than having to interact with your bum ass. What's wrong, baby boy? You need another pack of smokes because you're gonna die from lung cancer before the age of 45? He sounds so hinged, chat. Like, this totally don't read like the ramblings of a madman. Smokey responds, Earl, even in the police report, the cops say that the YouTube YouTube comment said nothing about the movie theater and yet you went anyway because you wanted to go back and save the girl that you groped. You made tons of people fear for their lives because you are selfish. I don't expect much from a PDF who groped a minor and ran a grooming discord who also want to go after people's personal info. And now you are lying about the cease and desist, permanently banned Earl. Hey baby boy, you keep on saying I groped a minor when I have already proven I did not. Does baby boy need another sip from the bourbon titty? Is baby boy scared he will never know what his grandchildren will look like because he will be dead by then from liver cancer and lung cancer? Such a shame. You are so insecure about your wife, baby boy. Baby boy insecure about his wife because he can't go one hour without a shot of whiskey or smoking a cigarette. Make as many videos as your short, short wife allows you to make about me. I will out with you that'll be how i get my revenge you're destined to die before me because you're a filthy drug user with drink weed and smokes killing your body from the inside out it will be such a joy when i see your obituary when i turn 45 myself yes smoky do smoke hence the name smoky but i'll have you know earl there be a good amount of gym bros who will also outlive you and they hate you just as much if not more so yeah people finna be talking about you for a long time that person from the Reddit post by the way probably doesn't even know the name of the high school teacher that died during my senior year when i was 18 she was a kind soul that still inspires me to this day do you really want to know something asshole? some wheel tooth I lost a former co-worker of my- Oh, oh, I, I can't read that. I cannot read that on YouTube. Less than three weeks later, I saw that YouTube comment that made me think more people were going to die senselessly to a fake bomb threat that I did not know was fake. It wasn't even a fake bomb threat. There was no bomb threat. On my doctor's report from <laughs> hospital, which is a psych ward I stayed at for two weeks back in January of 2023, it says I suffered a mass psychotic delusional episode. You don't say. I was fearful more people I cared about were going to die. That's why I did what I did and drove to Imagine Macomb on January 4th of 2023. I will be sure to say that in the documentary I make to queer my name. Yeah, good luck with that, White Bowser. Use only the primary source from which we got most if not all the information on you i don't think any way you spit it could possibly make you look good especially since you tried to dox smoky that's right smoky got fail doxed as we call it wrong address wrong picture wrong everything to which earl has admitted he sent unpaid for pizzas to smooth earl very smooth i'm sure that won't get you in trouble at all bowser been radio silent since the fail dox i mean i guess that makes sense you already look like a piece of trying to dock someone. Add on top of that, you got the wrong info. Now you just look like a f 
fucking idiot on top of that. But we do have more emails from other people Earl was messaging throughout the month. Like this one, where he suggests he send his prescription Focalin to Cyrax in the mail. Like, sure, Earl, just mail out a controlled substance across state lines to another manic degenerate. Just like the pizzas, I'm sure it will go very well for you. Earl then argue with the man he emailing over whether or not he can skip doses. And like, as far as I know, folk would be a standard prescription, but considering I'm not a doctor, disclaimer y'all, I'm not a doctor, plus the fact Earl be the king of caps so we could always just be lying, I can't really comment on this in good faith. Most I could say is, <laughs> it ain't the white Bowser if he ain't perpetuating harmful stereotypes regarding drug usage. Classy, Earl, very classy. Boys have swag, men have class, face ass. But one thing I can comment on be him admitting to the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook group controversy. According to Yu-Gi-Oh! memes.wordpress.com, back in 2017, while duelists prepared for the upcoming nationals this weekend, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Facebook group's Zodiac duelist and team top deck were blowing up leaked nudes of two female duelists. Talk of the two were all over the Yu-Gi-Oh! community's newsfeed as players and groups bargained for links and PMs of the photos. One of the victims who has judged eight regional events and several YCS events came into the TTD group just as any other duelist would and eventually moved her way up the community enough to become an admin alongside Earl Doobie and a few others. This resulted in the group team top deck getting Sucked. That ain't even me joking around, that's how they say it in the article. A group with over 13,000 members, led by head admin Connor Snow. So what Doobie's excuse for this now? The victim hold herself around the internet spreading pics of all her body on every social media site imaginable. I did not post her nudes to the Facebook group. Other admins did like Connor Snow, because I knew it would get banned if I did that. I did share her nudes in DMs, yes. But none of that is linked to me being a PDF. Nah, just a bitch who spreads revenge porn. I said and did all this in my early 20s. I'm in my early 30s now. And by circa 2016, Donald Trump cringy edgy humor is gone. <laughs> nah, it ain't. If I recall, this all started from a very distasteful edgy joke you made in a voice call. Nothing's changed, because you incapable of changing, Earl. You still as resentful of women as ever. You still impulsive as ever. You still arrogant as ever. You still got the same weird urges. And just all around, I don't like you. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk, I hate the way that you dress, type B. And I will never like you, and I will forever talk about you. Because at this point, there's nothing you can say nor do that could change my mind. Because every time you fuck around, you have zero regard for deadass anyone else on the entire planet. And then when you find out, you cry like a child with a hand caught in the cookie jar. You is pathetic. So here's a picture taken after Kiwi Tapes and Smokey enjoyed a movie and some popcorn at the Imagine Bacomb Theater you probably never allowed back to. Oh, also, there'd be a police report about the clown incident that just dropped. I would read it, but it's basically just a redacted block. A far cry from the detailed report of last year's movie theater incident. Yeah, I, I don't know what going on over in Shelby. But if any more White Bowser news come up, you know I got y'all. Watch this. I noticed this on YouTube recently. If I say like, comment, and subscribe, the little subscribe button will like have a little rainbow border glow to it. This be Club Doom signing out, and as always, sweet nectar.